I'm Crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys! I am here with a box opening that is long overdue. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, I purchased this item from Indigo Books back in July. July! Um, <laughs> so, uh, so I had a gift card that still had about somewhere between like 30 to $40 left on it, I think it was. And I had been toying with what I wanted to buy with it. Um, and I finally decided to use it for Girl of the Year 2022 Corin Tan's um, Ski Lodge Fire Pit. Now, before I made this video, I logged on to my Indigo account and looked at my order history and that's how I discovered that yeah, it was July that I ordered this. And at the time, I don't know if I did a video showing that it was, that I had bought it, but I just didn't film box opening it or whatever. I looked back at my videos, there was no box opening of this. And I think the reason being is that I just quickly opened it to check it myself, but I knew that since it's like winter related, and it was summertime when I bought it. I just knew I wasn't going to use it. So I figured why not keep it packaged up and safe in storage until the winter time. Well, now we're getting into almost spring. Um, I meant to get this out after Christmas. Um, as soon as the tree was put away, I wanted to put it up, but I didn't get my tree put away until like second week of February or yeah, second week of February. So um, that, you know, then I was busy doing other things. Anyways, never got around to it. I'm still hoping to set it up for a little bit. I mean, it's not 100% spring weather yet here. Um, but anyways, I thought I would finally open it anyways, just to show you guys. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I've decided that the table that we set up in the hallway where the tr Christmas tree usually is. So once the Christmas tree is put away, I bring this table back out. And usually that table was for me to paint reborn dolls at. Now, because I'm so busy with, with my nanny job and with trying to start my sleep consulting business and that, and I might have a potential first complaint paying client in the coming weeks, fingers crossed it work it it all pans out in the book um I just don't have time right now to make any reborn dolls so what I thought I would do is utilize the table to set up American Girl dolly scenes like using the table and chair set that I got or this fire pit set like maybe for now um, until the weather starts to get a little bit warmer. I can have this on the table with some dolls. I could have like Corinne and her, um, her sister Gwen and their baby brother Blix. I could have them hanging out by the fire. Like I could set up a little scene on the table. Or in general, what I could do is like utilize that table to take photos for the weekly photo challenge. Hi, Maya. Um, so that's kind of the idea that I had uh, with that, because I thought, you know, where else am I going to set up these scenes, right? And that table is actually perfect, I think. So um, if I'm gonna put this, sorry for that noise, guys. We've got the dishwasher going. The people upstairs just came home and are stomping around. I'm so sorry. Bad time to film. Um, <laughs> anyways. So I thought if I'm going to set this up on the table, then I have to kind of figure out where I'm going to carefully store the table and chairs so that they don't get damaged. Right now they're still in the hallway with some bubble wrap over them, but I need to get them 
stored somewhere safely while not being used. Um, so that's something I'm working on. Um, but anyways, let's let's dive in and let's open this so and actually take it out and like look at everything. So I'm gonna turn it this way. Let's get this. So everything is packaged in there really nicely. <clears throat> okay, let's open this up and see. So where do we go first? Okay, so I, this looks like it's the actual fire pit, which is really cute. Um, and with that, like I had bought a little uh, campfire with like marshmallows on sticks to roast, but I thought maybe I could sell that now that I have this. Although the campfire could be cute to like do an outdoor photo to make it look like they're camping. So I don't know. Um, this I believe takes batteries. Yeah, so you turn the bottom to open it. Because I think this actually lights up. How come it's... This is to lock it. Whoa. What? It says turn it this way to unlock it. That's locked. Oh, I see. This is to unlock it. The way they have that graphic written is not super clear. Okay, so then you have to unscrew this. You put batteries in. Don't know how many batteries you need. We'll look at that after. Um, but yeah. Um, so I think it like lights up, um, which is really cool. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in here? Oh my gosh, I hope you guys were seeing all that. So there it is. I think I might have been off camera. Sorry about that, guys. I'm a little rusty. Um, okay, so we've got a little um, throw pillow. And sorry again for that noise. The people upstairs decided to flush their toilet. My gosh, never a dull moment with these yahoos that live upstairs. Um, so it says Ski Aspen. There's like little mountains on there. Then we got this adorable fleece throw blanket. And I think if I remember correctly on the pictures, like it's just, it's just like you put it on their laps, like a, like a lap blanket. Really cute. And then we have, what is this? Um, where's the picture? Oh, I see. This is the seat cushion. So you put that on there. Okay. Uh, next, we have... Um, how do you take this out? see <clears throat> oh okay we've got some cute little um, accessories here okay so we've got some instructions contains one fire pit one bench one cushion one pillow one blanket one thermos and two mugs and I think this yeah this explains so it has lights and sounds. So we'll have to get some batteries in there and check that out after. Um, and maybe I'll like set up a scene to show you guys on the table. How does that sound? I think that would be fun. Okay, so we've got um, two mugs. Really cute. It looks like they got hot chocolate in them.
There they are. See, they have a little hot chocolate, some little whipped cream on top, and the mugs are the same. They both have a sticker on with the mountain there. And then we have the thermos, which is super adorable. It is a sort of like a royal blue color. It says Ski Aspen again with the um, with the I won't focus with the mountains and I don't think oh the lid does come off. Oh that's so cute. So it's supposed to be like a metal you know thermos. Um, so that is adorable. Now, the last piece is this. Now, here's the thing, guys. Like, so, I, when I first started collecting American Girl dolls, I never intended to buy any furniture or accessories or any of this stuff. It was just clothes and the dolls because I, I technically don't really have the space for a lot of accessories and stuff. I have a little bit of room in our crawl space that I could, that I've, you know, made do. Like, I, I basically have kept most of these types of things in their boxes and just have the boxes kind of strewn about <laughs> wherever I can, like, stash them in the crawl space. But that's not really going to work too well um, anymore, I don't think. And so what I'm sort of considering doing is getting rid of the boxes they come in and maybe just buying like a Rubbermaid container to put them in. I don't know, what do you guys think of that? I'm afraid though with this, I don't want this to get damaged, same as the table and chairs. Like I don't know how I'm gonna store those without them getting damaged. That's sort of my conundrum right now. Um, things like the sled, the Joss's um, surfboard, Kanani's paddleboard, like those things I could put in a bin and stuff like that. Um, but I feel like the tables and the table and chairs and this in particular is what I'm mostly concerned about storing. I so maybe it's best that I keep the box for this to try and um, have a safe way to store it so it doesn't get broken because like it is plastic um like holy crap they don't make this this is really in there how can i pull this out without breaking anything it's so tight in there oh 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 sh Okay, here, we here we go. Okay. Okay, so here is the um, bench. Can you guys see that? I don't even know if it's like in focus. I don't know what I, I, I don't know guys. Like I kind of want to get a new vlogging camera, but Alex thinks it's a waste of money to get the vlogging camera since I don't make videos as much as I used to. And my DSLR camera works. It, it's good quality. It's just a pain though because it doesn't have autofocus. I have to manually focus it. The only autofocus it has is a button that I have to depress and then it'll focus. So that's to me is not automatic focus. Like my digital, my digital vlogging camera has autofocus where like if you bring something in close, it focuses on it. You bring it back up, like it does it all on its own and I don't have to push a button or do anything. Um, and that's what I like about the vlogging style cameras, but they're expensive, the ones I was looking at. Um, so I don't know guys, like, and really I don't have the money right now because I have to make sure that I, like I'm trying to like not spend as much this year. I know I did like a lot of hauls just at the beginning of the year, but that's like, 
other than those, I'm really planning to like reel it in the rest of the year because I really need to focus on my business. And, you know, I'm hoping that if I finally get some clients, then that will pay for my business expenses. But if it doesn't, um, I'm going to need to set money aside for those. Now, I do have money set aside for all of my business expenses till like, I think the end of this year is what I did. Um, but I will need stuff for next year. So I, I don't know, guys, like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But anyways, this is like super cute. You got a little pillow. Got the little blanket here. The little thermos. Or actually, what you could do is put like the put the fire pit with like the thermos and the hot chocolate mugs on there. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I think I'm going to set up a scene with this and we'll end the video like of me showing that scene. I'll get the batteries in here so we can get it lit up and everything and it'll be it'll be super duper fun so be back in a jiffy okay guys so there they are set up in their little winter scene i got them into their meat outfits and um i used just the hats from their accessory sets um, we got the fire pit there, which I'm going to light up in a minute. I got the batteries in. Um, they've got their little cups of hot chocolate. And I decided to finally put on these, um, necklaces. Because apparently in their story, they get these matching necklaces that have three hearts coming down, um, from them. So you can see they're wearing them. And they're gold. And um, so someone on Etsy made their own sort of like interpretation of the necklaces. And I bought them, had them shipped to Nicole and got them. Now, this is the first time I go to actually put them on. And holy cow, guys, they were a struggle to get on. I feel like these necklaces could have used one or two more chain links to make it a little easier to put on. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. Um, American Girl, like even the official American Girl brand doll necklaces are a pain in the butt to put on. They make them so tight that it's so hard to get the two ends connected together. Um, especially like when you've got arthritis and stuff in your hands, like I do sometimes, like it's hard to grip the two ends and get them together. Um, the one nice thing that American Girl does though with their necklaces is that most of the time they make the clasp, um, not like a real necklace clasp. It's like one that you just like push them together which makes it a little bit easier but these are like legit necklaces where you've got the clasp that you have to open on one side and then you have like the chain link that you have to like the loop that you have to hook that into and close it up and I struggled with Corinne's but I got it on way faster than I did Gwen's. Um, Gwen's was to put it mildly, a bitch to put on. Um, I was working up a sweat. It probably took me a good 15 minutes just to get this necklace on. Like, that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I wish I had tried the necklaces when I first got them because then I would have left that feedback on the Etsy rating. Like, they're beautifully made. Beautifully made necklaces, as you can see. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, but they really could have just added literally just one, maybe two extra little chain links. Like these, these like little chain links. And it would have made it so much easier to put on. 
um, it was like I would finally get the clasp open, but then when I would try to get the loop in the clasp, it would drop and like it was just a pain in the butt. Anyways, I got them on. Um, I got them seated. I will say it was also a pain to get them seated uh, because American Girl, obviously, like, their knees don't bend. So when you sit them, their legs stick straight out. So it took some maneuvering to get it to where they weren't sticking out so far that, like, the fire pit would fall off the table. Um, I was still able to bring it somewhat close to them, but not quite so close. Um, also, the blanket is quite small to fit the two of them. Um, I was looking at the photo that American Girl did of the two of them sitting in this, and they had Gwen a lot closer to Corinne, but I could not for the life of me get her that close because her butt would either not touch the seat because her legs would be like knocking into Corinne's legs. Um, like it was just, it was, it was a wrestle just to get them seated <laughs> in a position that I was like at least somewhat happy with. But like you can see like the blanket um, just barely covers their laps. Like it's a very small blanket. I think they, I think American Girl should have made um, the seat a little bit longer, the bench a little bit longer, and the blanket a little bit larger um, would have been nice. Uh, and I had nowhere, no room to sit their baby brother Blix with them. I thought maybe I could squeeze them in the corner, but it wasn't working. Um, so it's just going to be a seat for these two. Um, if I'm being honest, I don't even know if this seat would fit to 18 inch dolls. Maybe if you had just one on each end and the pillow in the middle, maybe. Um, but it would be difficult. So I kind of agree because I did read the uh, feedback on this. Or I had, I think some people were talking about it in the group and some people were saying they felt the bench was a little too small. They could have made it a little bit wider. And I agree. I agree with that. Um... And yeah, I am a little bit disappointed in myself that I didn't hold out and buy this later because even though I had a gift card to put toward it, I think I paid full price. Like, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know, or maybe it was a slight sale at the time. I don't remember how much it, but yeah. Um, now that American Girl is leaving Canada and everything is all super, super cheap and reduced, they had this marked down to $35 and I, and it pained me to see that because like my whole entire gift card could have paid for it. But at the time I had to put an extra on top of the gift card to get this. And honestly, like it's cute. Um, but again, the issues with the bench not being long enough and stuff, like, I feel like $35 would have been great for this. Um, what I paid, which was, I think, $99 or $80 or something like that on sale, um, mm, it's not really worth it in my opinion. Um, but it'll be cute for some photos. Um, I may end up reselling it down the road. Um, but for now, I'll use it for a few photos or maybe I'll use it in my winter display every year or whatever. But anyways, let's um, ch test out the um, fire pit. So there is a little button just at the side here. And I don't know if you can see it. Just this button, you press it. And the fire lights up. And it makes crackling sounds. Like it sounds like a real fire burning. Hope you guys can hear that. <laughs> so that's cute. I've just turned off my hall light here so we can really see it glowing. 
It's super cute. I gotta read the instructions because I'm not sure if it maybe is just, oh, okay, so it does turn off on its own. I was just about to wonder. So it does turn off on its own after a short period of time. It does not stay on. Um, so if you want it going again, you have to press the button. That kind of sucks in a way. I was kind of thinking it would be cool to be able to like have it ongoing and just like leave it on, especially if I wanted to like make a, like a, as part of like a Christmas decoration or winter decor. Um, it would be kind of nice at night. Now that the tree is put away, it would be kind of nice to have something like glowy <laughs> in the evening. So anyways, guys, um, I guess that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.